The final in this concept of the dead zone space to promote longer throws is this one where you now have two extra areas within the field, area A and area B. And the idea here is to promote players to see the field in this diagonal way. So what um, with sometimes with the way we play is if a player is here with the disc, they basically only see this space here or this space here, which isn't ideal, it's not aggressive, um, and it makes it very easy for the defense to stay on the right side of their people to stop the flow of the disc. So instead of that, the idea here is if this is your playing field proper, and this again could be whatever size you wanted it to be, is if a player is in space A, of course they can play it to anyone within this area here, but also the end zone, <clears throat> which we definitely want. You then have zone C, which again is another option you would want. However, there is a, a third option, which is this cross pitch throw into this space here. This throw does need to be accurate, hence the size of this space, because if it lofts out of the field, um, comes too short, lands in the middle, the chances of it getting deep. So, if I'm in this area here, I can throw it anywhere in this area. I can throw it anywhere in the end zone. I can throw it anywhere in zone C. However, only if I'm in area A can I throw it also to area A2. And only if I'm in area B1 can I throw it into area B2. Stages. As previously, if I catch it in zone C, then my only two options for throwing are either again into zone C or the end zone. In area B, I cannot pass it back into any of this space here, so that can't happen. Where I can throw it, is into zone C or into the end zone. I cannot throw it into this area either. So again, if I catch it in this area here, I can throw it anywhere into the end zone. I can throw it anywhere into zone C, but I cannot throw it into this area and I cannot throw it back into this area. And the idea behind this is when the disc breaks away, oh, I should probably do that in a different color. When the disc breaks away downfield, everybody else should be supporting it to move into the end zone. So this is not just about throws being accurate to hit valid places that are likely to be more successful, but also the movement required by the other places to support the flow of the disc all the way into the end zone. And again, if you want to uh, make this more difficult, you could put uh, a time cap on it. Um, you could put a, a number of passes cap on it. Um, and then also, I think, changing the number of players that you have. This, this is offense and this is defense. Um, and then potentially the dimensions of the field um, to support the outcome that suits your team.